Miles Morales. They might just call me Chalice if I got to catch them all. I volunteer to take the challenge. So Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. I'm your host, Reg Henney, uh, alongside my good buddy Simon, right here, who's preoccupied with Spider Man rug down there for some reason. Uh, anyway, how you guys doing? I, I want to start off by saying happy holidays, uh, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. Happy Festivus, whatever you celebrating, celebrate it well. You deserve it. It's been a long, long year. What are you looking at? Oh, okay, all right. It's been a long year. Uh, um, and I know that uh, I was in a hurry to get to the holiday season uh, because <laughs> we just really, really needed some holiday cheer. Uh, so that's why I threw on my Optimus Prime holiday festive uh sweatshirt uh, that i got from adcs.com i know a lot a lot of people usually comment on the videos and ask me where i got uh some of my shirts and things like that or whatever so just so you guys know i got it from adcs.com i'll put the link down in the description below but anyway i just want to say happy holidays merry christmas and all that to you guys i hope you guys are uh doing well um sincerely every time i say that I actually do mean it. Uh, so if you want to uh, just chime in on how your holiday season is going thus far um, or just just how you feeling. Uh, and if you're feeling blessed that you've been able to make it through 2020 uh, so far, uh, just comment down below. Um, I love keeping in touch with you guys and everything and uh, bringing along Simon to say yes. Say hi to everybody. No, You want to go back to what you're okay. Well, I'll let Simon go back to what he's preoccupied with. Uh, but yeah, uh, please comment down below. I want to know how everybody's been doing. Um, speaking of comments, um, on, uh, previous videos, I've had, uh, people, um, subscribers, uh, ask me about doing a tour of the toy store. Um, and why not? Let's do it today. Uh, I know, I know everybody, the running joke, uh, with, uh, content creators is that, uh, when all else fails and uh, you're running out of like content, you'll do a tour of your uh, your the room. Um, that's not the case with me. Really, with me, it's it's uh, I don't usually do room tours. Um, when I have in the past, uh, like a while ago, I think if you look back on old videos, I did one a while ago. Um, and if you want to reference that, you can see that and then look at the one today uh, to see the progress, uh, the evolution of the toy store. But um, with me, it's really about, um, I try to do reviews, uh, lifestyle things, because again, it's toys, noise, and action figures. So it's not just toys and action figures, it's uh, noise about uh, the community, the collecting community, uh, maybe a rant uh, about music, things like that, or whatever, all the things that I'm really into and a lot of us are into. Uh, also with the reviews, with me, I'm very selective on reviews. Uh, if something gets sent to me by, like, let's say my friends at Hasbro or something, I, I don't mind reviewing it, opening it up, and then uh, and, and gifting it, sending it out to maybe doing a contest. I did a contest on the channel before. But I don't uh, tend to, I'm, I'm more of a, a mint and box guy. I like getting my stuff and, and, and leaving. I love the way, I love the idea since I was a kid. I always loved the idea of, getting something mint in box and I might have opened it when I was a kid because I planned on playing with it. But as an adult, um, unless I, I'm usually going to open it for the sake of displaying it. Um, and when you do the tour today, when you see the tour today, you'll see that, um, before I can put anything up, I have to switch something out. Um, but I'm not opening things to play with them anyway. I'm just really, uh, if you, if you play with your toys, then by all means, I don't care how old you are. Uh, eight to 80. If you want to play with your toys, go ahead and do that. Uh, there's no harm in that. Open them, play with them, have a good time. Uh, but with me, I like to open them and display them and you'll get a chance to see that today. But if I'm not planning on displaying it or I don't have any room to display it at this time, more than likely I'm going to leave it in this box. Um, I'm not a reseller at all like that. 
if I do sell stuff, it's because uh, I'm running out of room <laughs> and I'm trying to make room for maybe something else or I'm saving up for something else, uh, you know, just adulting. Uh, so that's when I'll usually uh, let things go. And that's usually after I've had it like five years or anything like that. So as far as me doing a room tour, I say all that to say I'm doing a room tour because I have gotten a lot of you guys uh, leaving comments and, and asking me to, to do a tour of the, the toy store. And you guys see when I do uh, content, you guys will look in the background and be like, oh, what's that? Uh, are you going to review that? And, and, and you guys give me great ideas. So I'm trying to K stay up to date on certain things, but I'm trying to also let you see what you guys are seeing in the background. So let's jump right into that and um, let's do it. I just decided to start over here in the study. <laughs> Just because I wanted to get that Avengers, Avengers uh, Christmas display right there. It's fitting. It's right outside of my office. So here we go. So as we walk into the office, you have. Now the crazy thing about these Spider-Man, see, like the. They call the I think 3D box art. You can find these kind of things actually at you know, places like you know, different retail retail places or whatever. But uh, I did not have to go and pay full price. I try not to do that whenever possible. Um, I actually found these um, all at places like Ross and Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Especially around the holiday season, uh, you could actually find them for pretty cheap. I think uh, with the just with the face ones alone, I think they might have been like maybe nine between nine and twelve dollars. And even the three D box ones were probably no more than fourteen dollars to be honest. Normally they're they're more than that. Sometimes they're closer to thirty dollars at certain retail places or whatever. This shall remain unnamed in this video because I want you guys to know how you could get them for a cheaper. Now that one I actually got retail there, the door hanger right there. Anyway, so here we go. Room tour time. You guys know this guy right here. If you go back a few videos, you will see this NECA life-size one-in-one scale Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, I actually did the unboxing when I got delivered at my front door, I did the unboxing on that um, almost two years ago now, probably about two years ago now, but it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Now that Spider-Man frame decorative looking piece right there, I also was able to find at a Ross, I believe I found that at a Ross and I probably spent no more than $24 on that. I was real proud of that to find that. The Spider-Man picture up there, the canvas is actually a canvas one. I was able to find that at a Burlington Colt factory and that might've been about $16 and it's a really good size right there. So. Another Ross find right here. I can't even remember what that was. It might've been about maybe $9 if that, but again, compared to what, between 17 and $20 retail, happy to find that at a Ross. This Avengers right here, I actually found at a retail place. I paid retail for that, but I was really impressed with it because it's a, uh, it's embossed, it's, it's raised on metal. So, you know, I'm really impressed with that. This is a very old Pez dispenser. I probably got that probably more than 15 years ago. I wouldn't dare try to eat the candy inside of it. But, you know, being from the late 70s, 80s, I really like Pez dispensers. Caesar right there. Gizmo, some of my little 
entertainment area. There we go. Got Grogu right there. Uh, chilling out with that Chewbacca Furby right there. This animatronic R2-D2 from years ago. I, I might have found that at Sharper Image on sale. It's a Disney Store Spider-Man backpack right there. Oh, yeah. This is my PlayStation right there. You know what that is, so. A retro, retro right there, speak and spell. Your boys are pretty good, pretty good at spelling because of that speak and spell. Not that one exactly. This one I really love right here. This is actually, this is actually a hand-painted He-Man filmation, Masters of the Universe, but they actually used an animation. Um, I think I found that at comics and stuff some years ago. There's actually another one uh, behind it, a smaller one, a full body one of them, but only had room in here to put up one. But I was very proud to have that. That's one of my favorite cartoons from when I was growing up. And we didn't have cable, so I have to hold the antenna on our little TV so I could watch it at about four o'clock in the afternoon. It would come on, I think, after Inspector Gadget. <laughs> One of my favorite cartoons to watch growing up. Still watch it to this day, to be honest. Now, I remember I bought this at the Marvel Experience when that was actually out here. And well, not here. I'm actually in a different county now. But um, when it was in San Diego County, the Delmar Fairgrounds back in I think 2014, my wife actually uh, got me a VIP experience. There's a little bit of footage of that um, on the uh, channel if you want to check that out. But uh, yeah, this is from back then. Found this bad boy at California Adventure some years ago. We like going to Disneyland, so I was able to pick this up. It's an individually numbered print. I don't know why they did that print like that, though, because that's a pretty common picture from what I understand. Just, uh, did a review on this bad boy right here. That is the Mass Optimus Prime. Uh, it's about 18 inches tall. So, it's the Autobot logo right there. It lights up too. It's the only thing about light up things in your office is you got to continually put batteries in them. In this day and age of uh, lithium batteries and recharging things like your iPhone and stuff like that, batteries just seem a little dated but you know it's the mass o2 mas o2 megatron i did the review on those two together as you can see they got their pairs of dispensers right next to them and the rock'em sock'em lollipops right next to them that's just for decoration not really it makes noise and stuff i don't really play it that much so darts Spotty. All right. Now, the Transformers is one of my favorite franchises since uh, 1984, since I was a kid. So we got a whole D12 cabinet set up to that. That is actually the Covenant, a Primus book right there. I'll probably replace that. It depends uh, once uh, the HasLab Unicron gets here. There's your Titans Return Fortress Maximus. There you go. You got the War for Cybertron uh, Siege Skyfire Jetfire. It's Earthrise Optimus Cog. As we go down to the cabinet. Now my cabinet is my details are not light lit up right now because um Again, I'm not a big fan of having to keep switching out batteries. Even though I have the puck lights in them, they're, they have the remote control operation for them. But the thing is, even when you have them off, they're soaking up batteries. So when you get ready to turn them on, it's not available. So I will be, and if you guys could, when you leave a comment, if you wanna, you have any suggestions on any tutorial videos on, you know, doing the lighting, or, you know, actually, uh, 
electrical plug-in lighting or whatever, you can leave that link in your comments. I would really appreciate it because I'm trying to get my lighting right in this room. So, all right, that is the 3.0 Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. Let me actually open this for you guys. There you go. It's very detailed. My little Prime, very impressive. Let's see, uh, Loyal Subjects, Optimus Prime of Jazz. From the uh, blind packages. That is um, 1984, issue number one. It's originally supposed to be a one in four issue limited series of Transformers from Marvel Comics. And fittingly, I have some select G1 characters in here. You got your, that is a reissue. All of these in here are actually reissues. Uh, even though I do have uh, pretty much all of them, I have the originals um, in their boxes, uh, but I put the reissues in here. So that is your, I think that's a 2002 or 2003 Takara Tomy reissue of Megatron. I can't remember if that was a Walmart exclusive sound wave, star screen from the commemorative series, I believe. From Tours of Us around 2002, 2003. Uh, you get that Ravage and that laser beak that came with that sound wave. This is actually the long stack version of Prime uh, that just recently got reissued with Walmart. Uh, the smoke screen, the Prowl, and the Jazz are from the Tours of Us commemorative series. And that Bumblebee is from a Takara Tomy reissue with the mini bots. Down here, we got our masterpieces. It's, that is one of my favorite figures right there. The MP44 Optimus, you got Ultra Magnus back there. I got an old review on that Ultra Magnus on the channel. That is the first issue of Rodimus Hot Rod from Takara Tomy. It was a real piece of work. I'm not really happy with it, but you know, I ended up getting the Toys R Us uh, MP one that came without the trailer, but that one is still in the package. It's just smoke screen, Bumblebee, and they're from Toys R Us. It's proud Grimlock. That is the Grimlock, the Toys R Us exclusive Grimlock. And then we have Megatron back there. Some of these. The high-ranking Decepticon officers. That is Shockwave back there. Soundwave. That's the Torch R Us MP Soundwave release. MP36. Megatron, one of my favorites. Soundwave came with about four cassettes. So that was awesome. Rumble and Frenzy, depending on if you go with the cartoon. The blue one is Rumble. If you go with the toys, the <laughs> blue one is Frenzy. It's a laser beak. I think I got buzz saw in his chest, probably. That is actually a third party Quintesson right there. I have uh, the actual Hasbro finally released after, what, 34 years. <laughs> I have the actual um, Pit of Judgment. Just got that recently. Still in box. And I, as I showed you earlier in the intro, I also have the retail release of the Quintesson Judge. Ravage right there. Star screen. Um, I believe that is the that might be the Toys R Us MP Star Screen that came out. There's your Shark to come right there. Right. This is the retail release of Metroplex. There you go. One of my favorites. That was actually the third Metroplex that I own. Um, I did end up selling. I had a box retail Metroplex. And I also had the Comic-Con exclusive one with the metal, the chrome looking legs, and the face, face sculpt. This arch nemesis, Triptychon. I do have Brunt, the recent release Brunt for War for Cybertron. But I actually decided to 
It's playing with Octane, if you remember that, from the Sembo cartoon, from the G1 cartoon. They got in a little trouble together. And if you're of a certain age group, my age group, uh, you remember this poster. Originally, it had the Decepticon logo in the back. I remember I would see this poster at the book fair when I was like nine or 10 years old and never got it back then. You know, it's most adults like myself, we grew up and we finally get what we really wanted. But uh, it used to bother me even back then that they had the Decepticon logo in the background. So I was able to find uh, a printer, a poster printer on eBay and got some really good G1 posters. And he had this alternate version available. So I got that. Here's a display that's never coming down. This is my Black Panther display. Here we go Killmonger. Here we got him in his Panther uniform. This is Eric Killmonger, you take off the mask, he's got the dreads, and it's Michael B. Jordan. Andy Serkis, the Gollum himself right there. That Black Panther canvas in the back, I actually found that also at a Burlington Co. Factory, like the Spider-Man one. Rest in peace, the King Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. Shuri. Over there, Let's see. Oh, I think my shirt must have fell somewhere. Where is it at? Yeah, I think I gotta pick that up. Go. King T'Chaka and Black Panther. There you go. New 52, We Can Be Heroes, box set, Justice League. Also found that uh, New 52 Justice League behind it. At, uh, that might have been at Ross, too. I think it was at Ross. There we go. This is Ryu, or Ryu, depending on how you pronounce it. I think this is like four out of, I can't remember how many they did on this particular uh, release of this sculpt, but this is number four out of whatever 500 or whatever they did or more, who knows, but I know it's number four. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces to go along with. Street Fighter, arcade one up, arcade machine, arcade cabinet on the riser. Oh my God. One of my favorite arcade games of all time, Pac-Man. I was obsessed with this game growing up. I know that high score is not too much to brag about, but it's the high score in my house and nobody's beat me yet. So I know my good friend DJ Ruckus tried to come over here and beat my score. Ain't gonna happen, ain't going down. Teddy Ruckspin. This is a 1985 Teddy Ruxpin right there. Uh, his Careboard, Care Bear Friends, his 80s cohorts right here. These are the actually updated ones. He got these real cheap at uh, Target on sale for like $9 each. Target always has some sort of coupon or something like that. I was sick advantage. These Pac-Man um, light displays behind here. Again, batteries. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of batteries, but they do light up. 1986 Transformers the movie poster. I got that from the same eBay retailer that I got the G1 poster. So we got the Marvel superheroes and the X-Men Children of the Atoms and Punisher arcade one up machine. Oh, and that's just a slave one that ended up getting a crazy sale. And that's the 2010 release of that Boba Fett right there, that Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. All right, moving along. I love the art on the side of these cabinets too. 
Doesn't say 1970 Spider Man bank. I got a slinky right next to it. So I try to fit everything in where I can. It's a Walmart exclusive Thanos repaint of the Builder figure. Hasbro, you always get us with the repaints. But I'm used to it because you've been doing that to us since the 80s. We fall for it every time. So this is my Batman section right here. That is the NECA quarter scale, Adam West. It's the NECA, um, I think that's the Dark Knight, uh, Arkham Knight uh, Origins. I okay. can't remember. There were so many Arkham Knight games. Um, that is a Batarang from one of the other special editions of the Arkham Knight game. There's a Michael Keaton 1989 quarter scale Batman from NECA. And if you look at one of my older videos talking about NECA's issues, most of you NECA collectors are probably right there with me in your complaints. But yeah, his literally his leg broke at the hip joint and NECA kindly suggested to me that I just hot glue it and find the pose I want to stick it in. So I got something for them though. Anyway, uh, this is the Batman Begins, Christian Bale, Batman. Can't be mad at NECA though when it comes to the sculpt and the paint. So this is the RC 1989 Batman that I just decided to display up there. These 3D box arts are also from Ross and Marshalls, places like that. I can't remember exactly, but and right below them, I have the quarter scale Wonder Woman, quarter scale Man of Steel, quarter scale Batflick, Ben Affleck. Very impressive holiday season. Got my eggnog right there. Hi, triple dog, dare you? This one of my favorite holiday movies. And a Rubik's Cube, which I'm never plan on actually using. All these years later, I still don't know how to do that thing. Again, I'm a mitten box guy, so things that I mean to put away, I get them and I mean to put them away. So that is the Devastator that they just put up a new re pre order on. But uh, that's the original release, and I also have the Comic Con release from Combiner Wars. I believe it's Combiner Wars. But uh, yeah. And then. His rival on the Autobot side is Autobot counterpart, Omega Supreme, which I think they also put up another reorder, pre-order for. Let's go Marvel Legends, Iron Man helmet to go with my NECA quarter scale Avengers display. Right behind Thor, it's the Mjolnir. Hammer. This Hulk is huge. As, as many complaints as I have about Nick and man, like the price point and the sculpt and everything like that. It's a good thing I don't plan on actually really posing my stuff that much. So G1 Metroplex and Tripicon. Tripicon still walks, still works. And that is in official print of them doing battle that I actually bought at Comic-Con 2013 in San Diego. One of my favorite movies, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. They're all one movie to me, but that movie was everything right there. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Nigga quarter scale, Spider-Man Homecoming. I did a review on him. If you want to check out that video that is further back on my channel. Like a quarter scale Doctor Strange. Then the, uh, this actually cracks me up. He's it's pretty cool to sleep right now. Uh, he man the original He-Man and Battle Cat in 1982. I gotta have my car right there on my desk. The replica of Bumblebee. Now he's turned on, so. Let me 
Skeletor from 1982. Hey, that's from McDonald's or something like that, but let's put him right there with the rest of the guys. Spider-Man, Amigo Spider-Man. I plan on doing a separate review for that. That is actually, if you had to ask me about what my grail is from my collection, that's it. That I actually remember getting this as a kid. This is not the original one I had from back then, but it is it is very near and dear to my heart. I was able to find this years later on eBay for a really good price after they had reissued it um, maybe in the last seven years or something like that. But um, I got this back when I was a kid. It's one of the one of the Christmas gifts. The first ones I could remember ever getting was that Mego um, Spider-Man. There goes. Eyes are lit up now. It's my Shield ID that I got from my uncle Nick Fury when I got my summer job with Shield. I'm just joking, but that is from the Marvel Experience from 2014 when I got to go to that. Hey, Shira, Shira, on Swift Wind, which leads us to what you guys just recently witnessed. There goes her arch nemesis. Hordak, but uh, you guys just saw this bad boy. All right, that's your Snake Mountain right there. Get my epic, epic Mo2 display. This kills any store display that I ever saw growing up. So that is that is a lifelong dream. Or checked off the list. It's my Castle Grayskull with Adora. The uh, Sorceress right there. That's the version from the uh, mini comic. All right. Prince Adam raising the sword. Got some palace guards right there. Going against uh, the Marzo. Some Skeletor's droids. Man at Arms. And the Wind Raider. Orko. step back from that it's the art of masters of the universe it's a really good book I got a lot of my books right here it's pound puppy right there it's a reissue but it's 80s is a running theme in this room so in the toy store so so up here you got some super seven versions of the filmation he-Man, an ultimate Skeletor. There you go. Hey, it's Spidey. Amazing Fantasy. I actually found that one at a Ross, I believe. And that might have been maybe $20, $25 or something like that. Hey, the Children of Thanos. This is not the Amazon one. This is the actual individual ones. Again, Marvel... I mean, Hasbro, um, just don't need to give you any more money. Oh, but this is also a SH Figure Arts uh, Thanos right here. I was really impressed with this one. I didn't get the Build-A-Figure one with the armor, but by this time I had already gotten like three different Hasbro Thanoses and I wasn't gonna do a whole Build-A-Figure and then have them re-release it, which they did. So I just got the SH Figure Arts one. Another piece of art that I got from Ross. Ross be hooking your boy up. There you go. Got Shredder up top. That's a quarter scale NECA. Along with the, I believe those are the Playmates ones. The ones that came out some years ago. Remember those? I think were Toys R Us exclusives. Got these turtles right here. But I paired up with the skateboards. Those are mini skateboards that came in the Playmates packages. Those actually are from the Nickelodeon releases of the Turtles, but these Turtles are the Toys R Us exclusive ones. And the quarter scale Turtles from NECA. Again, sculpt and paint, everything. Joints, ugh. All right, there's a poster. A good friend of mine got from Revenge of the Fallen. There's a lot of things you can pick and complain about with Michael Bay movies, but 
Transformer fans, we're just happy to get them on the big screen. So, this is my Sideshow Collectibles Optimus Prime maquette. I remember I seen this at Comic-Con in, I think, 2010 or 2011. And was so in love with it. And was like, wow, one day that'd be great. Fortunately, I was able to get my hands on one at a really good price. Um, in its box, included everything off of eBay. This isn't the limited edition one that came with the swords, but I was never a big fan of the those uh, laser swords or whatever anyway. I like the guns. That's actually a mini sideshow Optimus Prime head sculpt that uh, came with a special edition Blu-ray release or DVD release from uh, Best Buy from back in the day. Again, I love this thing, though. Get the right aesthetic for the office with, even though it says double bubble. <laughs> I got that dirt cheap at like a, uh, not a Dollar Tree at a 99 cent store, but I put peanut M&Ms in it because that's some of my favorite peanut M&Ms. So, is that some G1 fun right here? How often do you see that? Transformers Viewmaster gift set. And then right behind, and this has never been opened by the way. And right behind that, you have a G1 sound wave. It is not a pre-rub. Clearly, that's a rub sound right there. So this might be 85, but it's never been opened. And then that is the Walmart reissue, a blaster, which I couldn't wait to get my hands on. So again, I like to have the toy store kind of have that toy aesthetic. Diecast Voltron, which I actually picked up from a good friend of mine, Jay Harley. He's a great, yeah, it's J, just the letter J, Harley. He's a great eBay seller and also a good friend of mine out here. Um, but I was able to get this at a great price from him um, at BotCon in 2013. Now this display right here it's got one of my favorite releases of Destro, the Iron Grenadier Destro with the gold helmet. Cobra Commander, Serpentor. And then behind him is a never removed from box Iron Grenadier Destro's and Destro's the spoiler. And then behind that, I actually have some reissues of uh, the His Tank from Walmart and then the the awe striker is right behind that, so. All right, another detail cabinet. That was like a $6 potato head that I found at Walmart. But behind it is the, I believe what they call the signature series or signature collection. That they had a target of Buzz Lightyear and Woody. Toy Story is one of my favorite actually uh, Disney Pixar uh, franchises. I really actually, I don't know why, but I've always enjoyed those movies. The King himself, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, rest in peace. That is a 1984 uh, portfolio. Uh, again, if you're of a certain age group, remember those folders you could get for school. It was one of those, the Human Nature one. Um, they call it the Human Nature one because that actually was the photo shoot for the single human nature this is a hot toys one of the only hot toys i own but a hot toys beat it michael jackson hot toys always does an amazing job on a face sculpt these are actual bubble stickers from back in the day you remember bubble stickers but these aren't these aren't officially licensed bubble stickers these are actually bootleg there was a lot of bootleg michael jackson stuff back in the 80s so fond memories and some of that bootleg stuff goes for really good prices on eBay now. Um, so Michael Jackson, 1984, never removed from the packaging. Uh, Michael Jackson in his, is that the American Music Awards outfit? American Music Awards outfit. What a time to be alive. Jeffrey. 
Okay. These are the but with Mezco, Mezco, Lino, and Mumra. I think I got both of those from Toys R Us at different times, but yeah, Toys R Us, rest in peace, as far as the U.S. is concerned. Remember when Beanie Babies were a big deal? There you go, yeah. That was Snort, I believe his name was Snort, Beanie Babies. Back in the day, I was such a big Jordan fan, Bulls fan, then the damn franchise broke up my squad, but I'd been a Jordan fan from like 86. I'd been a Bulls fan from like 86 because growing up in San Diego, we had no team. The Clippers had left. They were here for about four years and they left about 84. But uh, I was a huge Jordan fan, even though they were losing a lot. <laughs> but he was amazing. That's the inner bay, Michael Jordan. That might be a 1-6 one, one scale, I believe. A 1-6 scale. Very impressive. Came with the MVP trophy, the Jordan 10s, and the 2s, and then the 11s. I just wanted to span his career with the Bulls, so I got an 84, 85. Uh, this is actually from a set, though, so it's not from back then, but it's detailing his the, that year, his stats, and then 97, 98. There was just so much merchandising for Michael Jordan back in the day, so... I figured I'd put a little bit inside this cabinet. This is my entertainment area. Got your PS4 Spider-Man, PS4 God of War. Don't ask me why I ended up with both of those, but I love the way they look. So, uh, there you go. Marvel Legends Black Panther helmet. Kotobukiya Black Panther statue. Just in case I need a beverage, I'm a PlayStation. Oh, and then the retro, the retro gaming systems. This is a Sega back there. That's the first one before they reissued it and made it actually look like the uh, Sega Genesis. This uh, NES, PlayStation One. Super Nintendo. It's the lightsaber that is integral to the entire. This is originally Anakin's lightsaber. And Luke had it for a little bit and Ray used it. And so I love just sitting here watching movies. It's another canvas that I found at a Ross for mad cheap. Might have been like maybe $14, if that. It's your Marvel Legends cap shield. All right. So there's your room tour of the toy store. I try to maximize the space by going up too. So you go on the floor up. Again, that Fort Max is gonna replace when Unicron gets here. So Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for hanging out with Toys, Noise, and Action Figures and taking a tour of the uh the toy store. Again, I appreciate the comments and the fact that uh, uh, quite a few of you actually uh, were uh, requesting that I did a room tour. So that was actually a lot more fun than I thought. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, I, I'm pretty old, so I didn't think I'd remember as much as I did going through the room. But uh, lifted my spirits, I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. Um, I enjoyed going on YouTube and seeing uh, other people's collections and their uh, reviews um, of their um uh, their um man caves or she caves or uh we caves whatever uh so i'm glad that you guys were able to hang out with me today um as i said earlier please enjoy your holiday season um and just be a blessing to others because we all can use a blessing uh so just have a blessed holiday season have a safe holiday season more importantly um 
just be safe, please. Uh, because uh, we all want to get to 2021 and make it an even better year, an entirely better year than this one has been. Um, but again, thank you for hanging out with Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. As always, uh, be good to yourself. Be good to others. Uh, show empathy. Open your toys. Play with them. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> Peace.